Hi, it's Anna with Create Your Future. I'm a manifestation coach and in this video we are going to talk about the 3D, specifically how to ignore the 3D and why you want to do it. Now, this is probably much simpler than you might think and the reason I'm creating this video is because there are so many different terms that are used in the manifestation community that it makes it sound like you need to do a billion different things to manifest something. And it is not so. You might have already figured out that it everything always takes you to the same, more or less the same things. And it is because manifestation is much simpler and should be much simpler than a lot of people think. So uh, before we jump in, remember that we are giving away free sessions. The details about it are in the description box below. And if you would like to try my course Self Concept 360 Degrees, or if you want me to help you with any of your manifestations, you are very welcome to book a coaching session from the link in the description box below. And let's talk about the 3D. So the first thing I want to say is that the 3D happens because you manifested it. Simple as that. Anything that you're going through, good, bad, uh, neutral, things that you notice in general are things that you manifested. You can't experience anything without you having manifested it. So if you're going through harsh times, realize that you manifested it, which means that you can manifest something else instead of it. So you have all the power. And the way you manifested that 3D is through your focus and attention, your imagination, your inner world. I have said in many of my videos that manifestation is an inner job and it is whether it's conscious or not. Of course, you've manifested all your life. Everything you've ever gone through has been manifested by you, even before you knew you were manifesting. And still, it has manifested through then unconscious focus and attention. And of course, beliefs, etc., etc. But something becomes a belief through attention anyway. So uh, if you just train yourself to be able to control your attention, then you've mastered it. And what we're talking about here is actually just training yourself to be able to um, put your attention on things that you eventually want to experience. So 3D is your manifestation. It was manifested by you focusing on it. Sometimes it's focusing on fear. Sometimes it's focusing on desires, it depends. And that exactly is the reason you don't want to focus more on your 3D because if it is something that you don't like, you obviously don't want to manifest more of it. So the more you focus on the current reality, the more you're just going to manifest more of it. So, and that is why you want to ignore the 3D, but what does ignoring the 3D mean? mean? A lot of people think that ignoring the 3D means pretending it's not there, pretending it didn't happen. If you're able to do it, good for you, but I find it um, not very efficient because it tends to create more resistance than it, it helps. So what do I mean by ignoring the 3D? As I said in the beginning, uh, focusing on the 3D creates more of it. Ignoring the 3D means instead of focusing on the 3D, you shift your focus. And it's really as simple as that. You, um, again, ignoring the 3D doesn't mean you pretend it didn't happen and, oh my God, I didn't see it. Oh my God, I didn't hear that. You can actually acknowledge that it happened. Okay, 
this thing happened, this argument happened, this problem with the money happen happened. I understand it happened, I created it. But I'm not going to dwell on it further. That is what you do when you ignore the 3D. When you don't ignore the 3D, you dwell on it. So something happens, it's finished. Let's say it's an argument, it's easier to explain it with an argument. For example, with your SP. You had this argument, now the argument is finished and you continue dwelling on it, you continue remembering it, you continue remembering the things they said, you t continue remembering the things you say, you start overanalyzing it, oh my god, if I had said this, maybe it would have been better, I should have had said this, why didn't I think of this before, now they think this about me, now they are mad at me, and now I'm mad at them because of this and that, that is dwelling on the 3D, and that is exactly the opposite of ignoring the 3D. So, a very easy way to, again, ignore the 3D is to shift your focus. The first step is noticing that you're actually dwelling on the 3D, and tell yourself in that moment, wait a minute, I am dwelling on something that I experienced that I didn't like, and me dwelling on it is just going to create more of it for me, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself, first of all? And second of all, you overanalyzing the situation, the current physical reality, is not going to help you find answers, which is mostly the reason why people tend to overanalyze uh, situations. What it's going to do is just create more assumptions about it. Uh, it's going to create more uh, specifically negative assumptions about it because the situation was negative and you are focusing on the problem. So you're going to find more reasons that problem is there. So overanalyzing is not helping you. Just realize that you're doing it. Just realize that you've been thinking this way for, I don't know, a couple of hours or several days. And tell yourself, me continuously thinking this, remembering this, overanalyzing this, um, trying to have the argument again differently in my mind, is just going to give me more of that uh, ugly situation. So I don't want to do this. Again, back to the beginning of the video. The 3D was created because you focused on something then it happened in the physical reality. Now you're focusing on it again. Expect it to happen again. So instead you want to dwell uh, on something that you actually want to experience. And that is exactly what is meant by ignoring the 3D. It doesn't mean pretending it didn't happen. It means shift focus. So the focus, this is something that you need to find out uh, either by yourself or with a coach, uh, what to focus on because your end goal might be, let's say you are trying to manifest a, let's say you are currently in a situation where you're not talking to your SP or you're talking but it's not going well, you don't have a, a relationship at all with them, but you are trying to manifest marriage with, say, four kids. And if you just had an argument, or if you're in no contact, and that is your physical reality currently, and you shifting your focus to, oh, I'm married to SP with 4D, with 4D, four kids, <laughs> I'm married to SP with four kids, that is a, a huge gap from current reality to end goal. And it could create unnecessary resistance. So you start focusing on being married to them with four kids and your mind goes, no, you're not married to them with four kids. You just had an argument and they're not even talking to you and they are no kids. So instead of that, you could go in steps. Uh, and steps, again, could be so different for every single person. And th th this is why I'm saying 
then you need to figure this out for yourself or with a coach what works for you, what to dwell on. Um, what is important here is that you foc your focus shifts from current reality, current 3D to something that is closer or in the direction of your manifestation. And as long as it's in that direction, it's good. But here you need to be careful to not create more resistance than you already have. And that is basically what ignoring the 3D means. And remember again that you hear a lot of terms, a lot of words, a lot of things that you need to do while manifesting. Mostly it's more or less the same thing it's focusing on the end goal but of course there are many ways to focus on the end goal and it's there are different things that work for different people it depends on your story it depends on your limiting beliefs and it depends also on your personality so something might work for one person and something else might work for another person so again, this is something that you need to work on and you need to know yourself a little too. Um, or, or like, you know, you get to know yourself a lot while manifesting things. So uh, ignoring the 3D again is not pretending it didn't happen. You can actually like look at it and say, okay, I know this happened. It's not good. I don't like it. I don't feel good about it but I'm just not going to dwell on it. That is the real ignoring the 3D, not dwelling on it. And every time you or your mind wants to dwell on the current situation, you shift, you guide your mind to a different direction where it feels better, where it is better and where you actually want to be physically at some point. So. I really hope this helped and again if you would like me to help you with any of your manifestations you are more than welcome to book a coaching session with me from the link in the description box below and have a beautiful day.